Let me get the notification out. All right, picking up from where we left off. We were supposed to go to Kanbalar, but... Remember that beautiful woman I saw you speaking to in Shandu? Carla? What about her? How odd that you never bothered to introduce me. Uh... <clears throat> Do you want to meet her? What's this? There's someone you want me to meet. Oh my. Well, I suppose it would be rude to refuse. It seems that Exodus has slipped through our fingers. There's nothing we can do about that now. They must be as desperate as we are, given their behavior. And what do you intend to do about Alvin? If we send him away, he'll only follow us. And we can't neutralize him by force without risking our own lives. Therefore, the safest solution is to keep him where we can see him. Besides, for good or for ill, that man has the power to change the circumstances of any situation. That is not a power to be dismissed lightly. Nor is the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. Trying to find where I left off here. Oh, right, okay. Um, we're going to grab something in the Royal Hunting Grounds real quick for a side quest. And we also just got a ping from Rowan about... Do you tell me that normally the four great spirits follow you everywhere? Is that for real? Yes, but... No way! So how does it feel to command them? Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. They've always been with me, so it just feels... normal. They're always with you, huh? So I guess it's like Elise and Tipo. Interesting. So Elise may feel the same way about Tipo as I feel about the Four. When you put it that way, the way I've treated her seems quite insensitive. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I can't afford to get swept up in sentiment at a time like this. You guys should have stayed home. <laughs> All right, that could have gone better, but it's supposed to be.
Alright. A peach elephant tusk is yeah, what we're looking for here. Sorry, I'm impressed with your ability to handle a different weapon in each hand. When I was a kid, I was left-handed. So I worked at strengthening my right arm instead. That shows good combat sense. I imagine you needed special training to learn how to wield a sword with your offhand. That must have been tough! No, it had nothing to do with combat. Just part of my daily life. You know me. Always a girl on each arm. And it would be rude to handle each of them differently. What? And here I was starting to respect you i'm leaving are two arms even enough for you with a woman of your stature maybe not good i'd hate for you to think that you can handle me with just one <laughs> Loot is not being nice to me. I guess we keep going. We are getting a ton of crown feathers, though. So that's definitely a thing. Hey, there's our thing. Sorry, not watching that one. Basically, that side quest revolves around Elise showing those two girls that she can be a true pinkist. since I've had one of mom's home-cooked meals.
here the Mon Highlands I don't recognize any of these landmarks am I lost We are still very broke. Okay. Let's focus on actually being able to afford stuff. That's not even going to give us very much, so... We've expanded the shops pretty well, but we've also expanded the shops pretty well and bought stuff, and that's made us very broke. Mutton, fresh mutton. Here she is. Sorry, I wasn't able to speak with you earlier. I'm Carla Outway. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Mila. Rowan, a pleasure to meet you. Carla's a historian and a teacher. That's very admirable of you. Not at all. And how about you? You won the tournament, right? That makes Elise one of the youngest winners ever. Really? Remember what I told you about Master Hemming? He won his first tournament when he was 14. And until Elise showed up, his record was never officially broken. And what about unofficially? An astute question. Unofficially, the youngest person to win the tournament did so at 12, the same age as Elise. He was a young boy who fought his way to the final match alone without even using a Lilium Orb. Are you sure he wasn't a spirit? No, no, of course he wasn't. His name was Ersten Outway. Ersten Outway? Is he related to you? My brother. This happened 20 years ago. But why wasn't his victory officially recognized? Our father was the chief of the Outway tribe, but we were a small tribe, and the other tribes used their influence to change things the way they saw fit. That's just how it was back then. So you're saying his win was taken away? Yes, it was his opponent's doing. He belonged to a tribe that was very close to the king. Twenty years ago. That would place it before the dawn of Ajur. Before the current king took the throne, the chiefs of several large tribes ruled alongside his predecessor. Many people were killed back then, but our current king put a stop to that. I see. Anyway, I have an important errand to run. See you all again soon. Imagine having a hard-fought victory erased like that. I wonder how Carla's brother felt. I used to be quite a martial artist myself. I defended my position as the army's second strongest fighter throughout my military career. If it were me who was robbed like that, I'd have hunted down my opponent and thrashed him again when no one was looking. R Rowan, you play pretty dirty. So what would you do in that situation? Me? I... I can't even imagine. Okay, so that's one thing. I do remember we were going to get a bunch of side quests now.
Who's this? My mother. She's not doing too well. I don't have a father or any siblings, so I have Violet look after her when I'm not around. Well, hello. H Hi. It's nice to see you, Balin. Slipped out of your house to come play, did you? What a shame that Alfred isn't here to play with you now. Where did that boy go off to? What is she talking about? Leticia, Alfred's away at boarding school, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. That poor boy must be crying his eyes out. He's so shy, and he always gets so lonely. Don't worry. He sent a letter saying he's fine. Oh, yes, and that he'll come home for his next break. I promised we'd take a trip on the big boat when he does. I know. Alfred said he can't wait to go. <laughs> you know what he said in his letter? He said he hoped that I wasn't crying. Isn't that funny? He's such a kind, thoughtful boy. <sighs> Being away from her hometown has been tough on her. And my dad dying didn't help. All she talked about was how she wanted to go back home to the house we all lived in. Hmm. Maybe she's happier now that she's forgotten all about that life. Oh. You've been doing all this for your mother? Yep. All these dirty jobs, it was all for mommy. Touching tale, isn't it? Alvin, you don't have to be like this. Spare me your sympathy. It's all rotten in the end. It's enough to drive me crazy myself. Something to say? Listen. You know that I was an orphan too, right? If I hadn't gotten involved in that line of work, I never would have survived my childhood. In other words, don't say anything to Jurgen. Also. I don't want to look after Leticia anymore. And I want you to tell Exodus to leave me alone. I'm afraid I can't do that. Only Exodus can make the medicine my mother needs. And you're the only doctor shady enough to prescribe it. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go straight. Sorry. But I think it's a fair price for keeping my mouth shut. How could Dang. you? All I want is to live happily with Jürgen. And you can. As long as he doesn't find out about your past. <laughs> All done. But she's crying. Yeah, she's a big old crybaby. We're just gonna leave her like that? If you're so worried, go console her. Comfort the poor, tragic princess.
Mom, I'm home. Oh no, I dozed off again. I have to make a peach pie before Alfred gets back from boarding school. He'll be home any minute. That boy just loves it, you know. Every time I make it, he eats himself sick. Is that right? Of course, he's always been such a sensitive boy. It doesn't take much to upset his stomach. Honestly, it makes me worry for his future. Thinking about it gives me an upset stomach. Sounds like he takes after you. Oh, and he told me in his last letter that he started keeping kitty cats as pets. I believe he said their names were Jude and Mila. That poor boy. He must be so lonely. But cats are a big responsibility. Don't worry. I hear he's taking good care of them. Oh, good. It's hard not being able to see him. But what can you do? This was Alfred's decision, after all. As long as he's well, that's all that matters. I mean that, okay? Yes, I know. <sighs> Cool, that one was easy. Okay, we have to walk all the way through this place again. I don't Pretty recognize about it, any of these landmarks. Am I lost? There! 
There, in fact. Discord pings, Batman. This is where the old Booster Research Lab was located. There used to be several buildings here, but they've all been torn down. That was probably my fault. They abandoned this place after I infiltrated it. Is that all you did? Hey, this is me you're talking to. The client got way more than their money's worth. So you managed to smuggle out information about the boosters? Not just information. An actual prototype. Couldn't get my hands on one of those third-gen models, though. You mean Tipo? I'd say it was a dirty trick. Who'd have thought they'd hide their top-secret device in some children's toy? When I found its blueprints, I threw them away. It looked like someone's scribbled gibberish. You can imagine my surprise when I first saw Elise and Tipo and Hamil. So you knew who they were all along? Come on, don't get upset. My booster job was long done by then. No conflict there. That's not the issue here. Apparently not. What is the issue here? <sighs> Let's change the subject. What exactly was your job at the time? Kind of feel like I'm being interrogated. we just like to know you better. <sighs> fine, fine. At the time, I was working as your escort. You're the one who hired me, remember? <sighs> Come on, don't look at me like that. Hey, I'm a professional here. I take the work, I do a good job, and I move on. How did that become a strike against me?
I'm so hungry, I can't go on. Jude, make me something. Getting pretty hungry here. How long ah, has it been since I've had one of Mom's home? Rapids. <laughs> Alvin talking about eating them. Interesting tangent. Uh, the very occasional thing in nature that can happen when you get hybrids is that they end up being not sterile. So there was one time where they were able to produce, I think it was uh, three-fourths lion one-fourths tiger. And the scientist in me, the mad scientist in me is thinking, okay, how do we make a seven-eighths one? If you'll excuse me, I think nature is calling. But yeah. with that whole Thanks for the heads rap up. No need to keep pig us posted. bit right there reminded me of... Lady Mila, welcome home. Your timing is impeccable. Oh, wow. <gasps> it really is Lord Maxwell. I knew it the second I laid eyes on her. Who are these people? They came here looking for you. They claim to be acquaintances of yours. Don't you remember us? We all played together when we were children. Oh, of course I remember. Are they the ones that gave you the glass bead? That's right. We heard rumors of a village that worshipped Maxwell, and we came to see ourselves. We really wanted to see you again. Now that I think about it, I do recognize your faces. It was so good of you to come. I'm pleased as well. Lady Mila doesn't get nearly as many worshippers as she deserves. You guys should catch up. We can entertain ourselves for a while. But... That would be great. Maybe we could chat about the old days, for old time's sake. Go for it. Very well then. Come, let us talk at my shrine. I guess we'll just hang out at Ivor's house then. Good idea. Hey, you can't just invite yourself over like that. Although, naturally, my house is always ready to receive visitors. Here, I'll prove it to you. Wow, you really do keep this place tidy. What would you charge to clean my room? <laughs> it's all part of a handmaid's duties. And now I'll show you how a handmaid makes tea. It'll be just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, but you really don't need to. Oh, hi, Mila. Back so soon? Yes, we said all we had to say. 
Don't tell me they confessed their true feelings for you. <laughs> In fact, they did. Really? Wait, hold on. Don't worry. My path has not changed. Yeah, I trust you. All right, back to it then. All right, twerps. Soon you'll be feasting your lips on the greatest tea you've ever tasted. And you'd better appreciate it, because... Huh? Where'd they go? Ah, all that premium tea wasted. This is going on your list of crimes, phony! Okay, we did that. Sure. Now where are we going? The Mon Highlands from John Doe. Ready. Carrying on.
Looks like we've got some human enemies here. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Mila, you're again with this one. Me from getting a skit right now. But terrible fuel efficiency. <laughs> what I wouldn't do to be in front of a warm fireplace right now. I'd certainly kill for a nice steaming bowl of stew. Ooh, you'd kill for stew? Hmm. For once, I understand exactly what you mean. Mila, isn't your stomach cold? It's fine. <laughs> oh, mucus! <laughs> Looks like you're having fun over there. I am. The human body is truly a cumbersome thing. Um, anyway... Loot. These tight, dark spaces always get me a little spooked. weapon in a time when fire is what's needed? Seems pretty good. Ah, treasure chest. There we are. Good stuff. Boss, good. Oh, we killed it first. That got me pumped. Cool. Don't get killed. 
Alright, good stuff. Next area. Yes, sir. The only way is to pump strike everything to victory. Shouldn't you wear more clothes, Mila? It's really cold out here. Oh, I'll be fine. Huh. Get smoked. Sweet. You sure like this kind of stuff. Oh, uh. Elise is out of the party for whatever reason. Chance to get sick? Do you 
enjoy having colds? This will be my first time. When I had the four, they wouldn't even let the rain and snow get me wet. But what if you get a fever? Ah, uh, I did experience that when I hurt my legs. I felt like my body was burning up. See? That's why you should try to stay healthy. But I want to experience the sensation of having continuous nasal discharge. Why? I doubt that anyone else wants to see that. It would be funny to see, though. If I remember right, that'll be something later on, or something. Go! 
Their timing really screwed me up. With that, them using items business. Alright. Screwed up my timing pretty hard. It's too much use for that, but... our spot. Strike is really good. Thank you. 
Somewhere around here, there's a large boulder. Ah. On the Really good job, Chipo. You can count on me. Always good. Take this here tunnel, grab whatever loot is in here. Mysterious jewel. Ah, okay. I missed the actual exit out of here earlier. The 
seat of power of Ajul. Boom. I wish we didn't have to fight, but they got nothing on me here. Running out of cooking items, though, so gonna have to restock on those before the next place. Northwest region. All right. of people no okay so the number is saying six but uh, 
Grab this guy. Grab this guy. Hello. Oh no, it was nothing. No need to be mocked. Pretty much. Yeah. That wasn't too All right. Palm strike is really, really good. And extremely spammable. Alright, which way are we going here? Go this way. Do -do -do -do. Got that treasure chest. Yeah, that was the pineapple gel. Look around for a little, little more. Nope, no loot. Okay. Into Conblar we go. For some very cool music. I thought Shandu was an odd burg. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashagal. All right. Whoa, check those out. That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbala was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look so? Fun? Okay. I bet we could see forever in one I'm of those. streaming this every Sunday, and then I'm doing Zillia Two when it's done. Zillia and Zillia Two are my second favorite. How do we go about meeting the king. Abyss is my I'll favorite. I'll request a royal audience so. for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Oh, let me see if I have my full so ranking list. That's probably still missing a few that I forgot about, like hearts. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? Where is it? He's a there nice we go. Guy. There's my list. All right, we made it to Kanbalar. Let's see if we can find an inn with the food vendor because we're short on food right now. If we still have money after that. Crackers, right. Alright, I'm very broke again, but I have food for restoring my TP and spamming.
Palm Fist again. Huzzah! Apparently there's a side quest in here that I wasn't actually trying to trigger, but... Jurgen still isn't back? Not yet. Elise, want to do some sightseeing? <laughs> Miss Elise, why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. That's fair. You talk more Fantasia than is impossible. You know, <laughs> when they were still getting their hey, bearings on things. Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have like, to. Like, I'd love to hear more. There's about a lot you, more Elise, in your own words. Like, I guess RNG involved in stuff, like, with back, back attacks girl. and such that are still on random encounters, and I just remember, huh? like, suffering Elise, through, like, Undine's you cave in that game and not having... I, but I didn't play it when it was new, so... I hate Mila and Leia too. It was when they were still getting started hey, with the series, so going? it comes off as primitive, and to be Gosh, fair. That stung a little. But... Not gonna lie. Please. Some of my ranking of Destiny is from Destiny Remake, so oh, I I'm fine. that's we need to get not back. entirely fair to say Destiny wasn't also a little bit dated. Do, 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 do. Wandering around the inn. Who's your favorite character in Fantasia? I know a lot of people that like Arche. Wandering around here. Scoping out this inn. Looting people's stuff. I just finished 100% completing Tales of Arise today, and that's, yeah, where I ranked it. Alright, looks like no items in here. Try to stay if I had one favorite battle theme, I would probably hand it to Meaning of Birth, except I'm not thrilled with the synthesized trumpet in the song. Like, there's a version of the song that's like a full orchestra playing it. And that song with a full trumpet and a full orchestra behind it is just great. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Where did you come from and how did I not see you? This dude is not exactly stealthy. No reason to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter. Nothing more. Elise, I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you Tebow. and Mila were my friends. I, I hate Tebow. you. I hate you. Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar. You don't care about me at all. These animations do not look great nowadays, anymore. but... Miss Elise. Everyone is being kind to you right the now because you have them so of the old man talking. You say that you feel hurt, is great. but have you considered your own actions? 
Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. That's sweet. Huh. You're not the boss now of her. On the head. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? Yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older Yeah, Jow yeah, is fun. Right. I don't mind Leia, scary the villains Leia. in this game. Like the gold standard I measure here, child. all Tales games Never villains against as far as writing and such is going to be Tales of the so Abyss what do we do now? and the God Generals. Still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. And I can see that they're kind of going for something similar with the, for the Chimeriot, time, let's not cause any but maybe not Jurgen. quite getting there. No good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. But better than still better than a lot of other Tales games as far as the writing of villains. Ellie's uncensored. Tipo, please stop saying mean things to Leia. But that's on you, Elise. No, I don't want to insult my friends. But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No, you're wrong. Don't say Tipo's things like that. Tipo's a fun that. mascot, bad, definitely. Bad. Hey, take it easy, Talking you mascots but Tebow's have been their place. Horrible things. It's all right. Tales of Arise has this owl Almost named Hoogle, and he's very cute. A few years older. And you but, find a bunch of other like owls. Yep, but the really lack of talking from the mascot keeps it from oh, thanks, Elise. Guess being I'll much of a character. Then. Jude, we're such great pals. Tipo, <laughs> hey, why do you always chomp my face? Yeah, that's and fair. A sign of affection. I've never seen Agria Tipo is so close probably with anyone else the... before. So that was like a Tipo kiss. Least it was? My first kiss like, was stolen. Well written by of the Jude? group, I guess. Stolen? But that yeah. Be my line. A lot of Zagi and her. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Zagi was Don't be coy, Jude. Another you case of take responsibility. Like, oh, Asperia honestly had good villains like Alexei and Duke. What? But Zagi was just kind of there the entire game. Point. You really do have a knack for combat. Maybe you should look into a career as a mercenary. I'd teach you everything you need to know. Me? A mercenary? No way! I couldn't bear to see Jude turn out like Alvin! Tipo's right! Yeah, that wouldn't suit Jude at all. Nor would I trust Alvin's guidance on the matter. It's unanimous then. Motion denied. Ha. Ouch, that's harsh. When did I become the least influential I member wonder, of the party? I wonder, Alvin. I wonder. Don't worry, Alvin. The least influential member isn't you. That would be the guy whose opinion is completely ignored even when the topic <laughs> is focused around him. Uh, well, um... Don't let it get you down, kid. Yeah, that sounds about right. And maybe... I don't even remember the guy's name... in Zestiria, but... He was a little bit of that too. He was like some part, like some werewolf kind of thing or something. That was also in that same personality van. Okay, heart herb. 
Ah. That's something we have to gather oh, in the Mon Highlands good. that I apparently missed. Tipo, what exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. Ha. Huh. But when I'm hungry, before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? <laughs> it depends on the person. Oh For my example, God. yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. Tipo, it's such that a goof. Sound appetizing. Wait, what? Okay. Gonna quickly swing back into the Mon Highlands, see if we can find a hard urban here. Anywhere. It's random loot, apparently. Come on, let me fight all Not gonna happen, Leia. Existing party's just too good. We aren't really not really sincerely that much, to be honest. Alright. I did it. Cool. Loot. Bees nest. No, that is not what we need at all. to me at all. spot over there we can try oh my god it's giving me so many beads and no hard herbs for this quest
will find if it will shut her up. I guess no one wants some old geezer channeling. Come on, let me fight already. I'm gonna. Oh, it's based on them actually fighting. Ha. Huh. It always turns into you giving me life advice. That definitely sounds like Rowan. Definitely one of my favorites of that character archetype. I'm trying to think of anyone that might be better in that category and not nothing's Come coming immediately to mind. Already. He's definitely a favorite. Alright, oh yeah, you can fight, God. Huh? That's a large group of pallet swap enemies. Whee! Let's beat up some frogs. Attack. 
Alright, good stuff. I can't stop. Now we go back to Kanbalar. Helping out the Azul military. Definitely help out with Mila's pain. Yeah, let's hurry on back. All right, finishing up another side quest here. much more used to the Asperixis now. But I'm assuming it still hurts. That's what I've gotten used to. <sighs> hey, Jude was so worried about you that he went and found you a hard herb. What's that? It's an extremely rare herb with potent healing abilities. When used during aromatherapy, its effects are second to none. You went to all that trouble for me? It was nothing. Here, let's try it out. Mmm, that smells amazing. I feel so much calmer. How is it? Do you feel any better? Yes, I can feel the tension melting away. Mila? Hmm, I, I can't stop hiccuping. Oh no! You caught my acute hiccup disorder? Ha, huh. I kind of doubt that. She's probably just allergic to the hard herb aroma. If it was an allergy, wouldn't she be sneezing? Perhaps this is some unique aspect of Mila's anatomy? I'm sorry. I'll put it out right away. <laughs> this is fun. I've never had hiccups like this before. It makes me forget all about my pain. Thank you, everyone. Oh. Uh, no problem. So, uh, now what? As long as Mila's happy, I say we can move right along. After all, now we go back to Kanbalar, <laughs> and we exactly. have a boss fight coming up. gonna switch the preferred party back in because this could get ugly. Jeez, I never gave her a Accessories. Thank you. 
I'm assuming this is what this game calls confusion, because, wow. meet this king of Ajul and hope he's in an extremely friendly mood. That's quite the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Ajul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the Wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the Wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to His Highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. <sighs> Probably wrap it up pretty soon. Considering the size of his country, Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable.
Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. What's the holdup? I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Azul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Azul. My name is Gaius, King of Azul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... 
It takes freedom to make your own decisions and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't! Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, uh, who guy. did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. That's pleasant. But if his That's highness pleasant. were to have spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. T-Bone, no! Yoink! Well, don't just stand there! Come on, run! <laughs> Capture Maxwell. <laughs> Recover the test subject. <sighs> Mission accomplished! You knew that we'd have to escape, so that's why you left Tipo with the guard. Yes, I knew that it would end up being Mila who treated with King Gaius. <laughs> and when Mila fully expresses herself, well, I figured something would happen. <laughs> I see why you were cautious. 
Yep, just as predicted. Oh, I know what that's called. That means Mila's a troublemaker. Hmm. Yo, Mila! Did you hear the whole thing? I can't deny the truth of your words, but there is one thing I'd like to add. By that definition, wouldn't Tipo be a troublemaker as well? Well, I guess that's... that's... What? You're not gonna defend me? No matter what happened. Cool. Be gone. fight. So Alvin really was a big fat liar. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Activate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Gandala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. Uh-oh. Here they come. Done. Already? I'm finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on. I'm so sick of holding everyone back. Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this. Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Huh? Yes! 
Hurry up, you two! Nobody leaves me behind at a party. Presa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to his highness way back in Nia Kara. He was on your side the whole time. <laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this. Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty. It's time someone broke your arrogance. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? Don't lecture me on age, Dilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. <clears throat> And then you flee. What? What just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster. Why? Who are you? Elias, Saibon Punyukaida, Tiyote Sevon Priyande. What? Is that Long Dao? Maxwell. Alright, so Prisa is the easier Why target here. We can fire. I warn you, he's quite strong like this. Can't understand a word he's saying, though. No matter, still understand what you once we're all dramatically increased. There can be only one reason, a booster. I can't Good accessories from this. There's always room. Now I'm going to hit a save point as soon as I possibly can and call it a night. What now? Still wanna play, do you? Wait! Don't try to stop me. 
No, look. I suppose our time is up. Running away again, Ilbert? It's because you ran last time that King Noctigal ended up the way he did. <laughs> So, we're supposed to head to John Do from here. Is it true Hamil was attacked? I'm surprised that you would care. The people of that village treated you horribly. It's true that we were bullied a lot. But there was a man who gave us fruit, and a woman who put a blanket over me so I wouldn't get cold. They didn't deserve to have horrible things happen to them. I see. And having a great spirit running wild would be so scary! It was the Rashigal army that attacked, right? Why would they do that? I don't know. It seems we'll have to head to Rashigal to find out. And more importantly, to ensure the tragedy of Hamil is not repeated. Yes. That is it for tonight, everybody. Have an excellent night, and I will be back again same time next week.